Hey guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. It's uh, a lot of fun for me to make these videos and I appreciate everyone's comments, likes, and, and subscriptions to the channel. Uh, I don't know how many sub uh, subscribers we have now, but it seems like I get email notifications multiple times a day that people are subscribing, so that makes me feel good. Um, happy Saturday. This project that you see behind me, um, we're going to do a little bit of accountability or a, you know, like an accounting of how much money has gone into this system and how much to, to the dime, right? Uh, to how much money has been made so far. So let me first tell the story. If this is some of your first time watching this channel and you've seen videos maybe on my channel about the system, uh, but I'm going to do a little more in depth kind of uh, explanation of why and how. Um, and, and I guess, yeah, the big why. Why did I build this thing in my garage? I'm a believer in um, provident living. I'm a believer in sustainable living. Um, not saying that this is it by any means, but I'm learning, right? My quest in a lot of my hobbies to do something that I love, but at the same token, the challenge is try to find a way to pay for itself. I guess you could say that business is kind of my hobby in a lot of ways. Um, when I pursued this system, what I did is I found these barrels for two or three dollars a piece. These are about $120, some people say $85. Uh, I saw them once at $120 a piece in cost. Uh, got them for two or three dollars, um, just being given away effectively. Um, that's the blessing of Craigslist. And so when I got these things, I thought to myself, well, this gives me a really good head start on how to build um, an aquaponics system. So if this is your first time watching a video of mine on this system, I'm going to go, I'm just going to do a quick walk around so you can see it all. Let's just do a quick walk around together. There you go. So there's a quick walk around for you. Um, why? Why did I build this system? Um, I think it's just so cool. Why did I build it this way? Simply because it's the stuff that I had to start with and I wanted to retrofit everything into it. Um, what I mean by that is I started off with these. A lot of PVC. This was free. Free, free, free. And I just started drawing out on a piece of paper what I thought would work and how it would work. And uh, over a year later now, this is where I stand. Um, it's just been a lot of fun for me. Okay, how much have I spent on this system versus how much have I made from this system? Let me go grab my piece of paper and we'll do that together. It's not as great as I thought it was, so I'm just being vulnerable with you. Okay, I've just taken some notes here, um, just to make sure I don't miss anything, but what have I spent on? So if you look at the, the totes that you're actually setting on, uh, you look at these barrels, uh, a lot of PVC was repurposed and free or uh, reduced cost on Craigslist, but a lot of PVC fittings had to be purchased new. Aquariums were purchased used. Um, so. What am I talking about? The cost of solar salt, the cost of all food, the cost of the initial fish, the cost of um, electricity, the cost of PVC fittings, PVC parts, um, the totes, the barrels, the heaters, the filter matting, um, the ball valves, um, the air pumps, 
all the plants, the seeds, um, filters, I think I already said that, sorry. Um, you know, extension cord, cords, surge protectors, thermometers, um, the, the pumps, the pump that I used at the beginning, if you look at my very first build, to the pump I have now, and um, the, the, the clay pebbles, the little um, stones, um, the pea pebbles for the footing for the plants and stuff like that, the bedding for the uh, fish, the rocks in the bottom, um, I already said tanks, what else? These heaters, the 800 watt heaters, the 200 watt heater over there. I said electricity already. Yeah, so what I'm telling you is every dime that I've spent the past year and a half, close to, close to yeah, it's a year and a half, is $4,320. That's how much every dime that's gone into this system. Capital expenditure as well as operating costs. That's, that's what it is today. On, uh, what is it, July 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, I can't remember. Um, so that's quite a bit of money. That's more money than I thought. It just creeps up on you real fast. Um, and so does most business operating costs. The great thing is that that is actually total capital expenditure and operating costs, like I already said. Oh, the Uniseals, too. The air stones. I mean, every single dime has been accounted for. I think it was four thousand three hundred twenty dollars and nineteen cents. Um, how much money? Um, I have. How much money have I made? I have sold nine hundred dollars worth of fish. I posted the fish for the first time for sale on Craigslist just thirty days ago. 40 days ago. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good about that. I've recouped 25% of my costs in one month. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, now I have a breeder tank up and going, and I hope that uh, they do what they need to do so we can backfill it. Um, I am not going to count as income all the fish that we've eaten, but let's say that you do, we're at a thousand, so effectively, we're right at close to 25% recuperation. Uh, that's really good. I'm gonna actually double down. I'm gonna try even harder to sell this fish. I haven't been trying that hard. There's more people that I thought are actually intrigued by these fish and like them. Um, some people are using them to clean up ponds. Some people are preparing for a fish feed at harvest time. Some people are setting up their own aquaponic system. Um, one family, a sweet family, the, the grandfather is too old and frail to go fishing, but they know how much he's loved fishing his whole life. So they bought some big ones, put it in their pond with the intention of having him, you know, go fishing in his older age. So this is a lot of fun to me, and, uh, and, I, and I've seen how happy these people get. So that's the system. Uh, that's the reason I built the system. And the challenge is trying to make it pay for itself. Now, what are the continual operating expenses? Electricity is about probably twenty-five to thirty-five dollars a month um, in excess electricity being, being expended because of the system. The feed, I finally found the, the fish are big enough to take an Aquamax 2000 uh, made by Purina. Um, it's a pond fish food, but specifically for catfish and tilapia. Uh, I would love to get some catfish, but uh, anyways. That being said, it cost me $36 for 50 pounds, rather than the stuff that you buy online that is a lot more for 20 pounds, 10 pounds. So, um, really excited about the fact that I'm going to save on that. When I do water changes, the irrigation water that goes into it is filtered, and uh, it doesn't cost me anything that regard. Um, I bought some solar salt, um, all natural solar salt that I put into the system when I do water changes. I'm hoping to get to a point where I don't, where I don't have to do as many water changes, um, making some adaptations to the system to more properly filter out gunk so it doesn't get 
gunked up. Um, and that way I don't have to continue to put sea salt or solar salt into it. Um, I just wanted to share with you my story here and why I do aquaponics. Um, it's been mainly the fish so far. I need to migrate to being a better producer of plants. Um, but all in due time. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. And all those that are here at the end of the clip, I appreciate you hearing me, letting me ramble on. Take care. We'll see you later.